Hello everybody, Joe here, Soggy Bottom Forge. So today I'm doing a tool showing. Uh, last last weekend was Swaptoberfest here in uh, Pacific Northwest. So I went to the Swaptoberfest 2022. Uh, picked up some stickers that Northwest Blacksmith Association got a couple couple stickers there. And then a decal. Um, <sighs> picked up another one of these. Five bucks. Marked down from ten. <sighs> and I got that. 1.10, 1 pound, 10 ounce. Flat, round, six marks. That is a, uh, my new hammer I'm going to throw out today. From Portland Ironworks. Portland. I know it's Portland. I believe it was Ironworks. Might be Metalworks. Let me check. Ironworks. So this is his business card. Upper Left America. I like it. That's the information there. So I got a bought the hammer from him, and I got a sticker pack. So. I have quite a few stickers in here. Take a quick look at. Another Portland Ironworks. These are all his stickers. Yeah, he was up there at the show. And uh, I saw that hammer and I had to have it. It's the first one I've ever seen that somebody had forged the hammer, not on an order, light enough for me. I prefer a lighter hammer. One and a quarter, one and three quarters. Or one and a half to one and three quarters. So this one's a little bit lighter than what I was actually hoping for. But we're going to try it out today. I have a. Uh, this is a quarter by one and a quarter. I cut two pieces off, five inches long. All right now I cut, just cut on the uh, quarter band, split one down the middle. I'm going to try another set of uh, mini tongs to see how it works using this small flat stock. I have the forge warmed up. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, get some stuff rearranged. I have a box here in my way. Uh, get the forge going back up, get these heating up, and we'll get right at it. Apparently I just did that backwards. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. I did this offset. Did that offset. Did that offset. A little more. So that's where I'm at now. I'll be back.
So just a quick file, clean up the end, heat treat, and get ready to start punching. All right, you guys, so I've got the punch here. It's still warm, but I'm, I've put it in, brought it up temperature, pulled out, let it cool down. Going back in, I've got the oil heated up, sitting right here. Got my magnet. Stone here. So now we're going to wash the colors. See them already starting to fade down into there. You can probably see them better than I can. either oh there we go now I can see it that's good all right I'll let that sit right there and cool down the upper end is still not in the oil so it's gonna cool down nice and slow and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this let that cool down pull it out wipe it down look it over get these in these are all completely cold now, so we can see. And they're coming out pretty good. You need to work on aligning the jaws though, which is fine. looking at it I need to work on the thickness of this one it's thicker so while that's cooling down I'll go ahead and set that off to the side I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one back in yeah this one back in and work the rain down just a little bit more and I'll be back all right so we're going to go the hard way already got that one drifted out, so I know this works. Not necessarily the, probably the best way to do it, but like I said, until I get a bolster plate, until I get off my lazy side and make a bolster plate.
Move my quarter inch rivet. Drops right in. Good to go. Okay, so. Now, I need to drop that in there. Set that down. Pick that up. These are all hot. I need another set of tongs. Where are my other set of tongs? There they are. There they are. Got these. So I now have. Set of tongs. I just need to find my soapstone. Don't lose that. These things are annoying to me. Well, I had my soapstone. Need my center punch. I'm gonna mark the side of this rivet where I want to cut it off. Seems how I can't seem to find my soapstone. That works. I'm going to cut this off and get everything put together and I'll bring you in for the rip setting. All right, here we go, guys. I know this is a whole lot more rivet than this thing probably needs, but. Oh, now you're not going to fit, huh? There we go. All right. get it back in there I need to finish setting that head and start working it so
dentro. Okay, so this one's working. Um, I just need to straighten the reins out so they're not crossing over each other. And I'll be happy. Let's see if I can do that right now. That was my center punch. I did find it, by the way. Not too bad. They do still kind of overlap a little bit. That's okay though. Alrighty, another set of mini tongs in the books. This is my first set here. my second set. This was using six inches of three eighths inch brown. This stuff right here. It was the uh, crank handle for uh, lowering your like spare tire out of a Ford or whatever. It's just kind of a mild three eighths, 10 mil. This was made out of a five inch piece a uh, quarter by one and a quarter that I split in half and then forged the uh, tongs out of it and then quarter inch of it. All of the forging minus the finishing. Hold on. Okay. All of the forging minus the planishing. Some of the planishing was done with this one also. But this is my Portland Ironworks. 1.10 ounce or 1.2 ounce depending on how you call it 1.10 full hammer 1.2 head um, rounding hammer round on this side flat on this side from Portland Ironworks this way there's this brad um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put a link to this video on my Instagram and I'm going to post him over there um, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel or not I should look if I if I do find a YouTube channel for him I will go ahead and post the link down in the description but yeah this is this hammer is awesome dude yeah 
well worth it. I will definitely be keeping you in mind for future hammers also. Although there are a couple other hammer makers that I want to buy hammers from, but this one's nice. It moved, moved that, no problem. It moved, uh, oh, what did I do with it now? I said, don't lose that. Those are a pain to make. Move the steel for my punch, anyways, which was. Like three ish coil spring. What did I do with my punch? Hold on, we're back. All right, I found it. So, this is the uh, coil spring punch that I just made. It is. Yeah, three eighths spring. Moved it like butter. Nice, light, whippy. Nice and hard. I mean, no marring. You can tell it's been used. No marring on there. Both sides. I mean, nice and smooth. Doesn't even, I mean, besides the scuff, the discoloration doesn't look like it's even been used. But yeah, I drew that out, tapered down both sides. No problem. And that did a great job. My first plug. There it is. My very first plug. I need to get a jar and put that in. So. Yeah. Portland Ironworks. Go check him out. He's on Instagram for sure. Because I'm following him over there. I will post a link to this video and a link to his Instagram on my Instagram and uh, yeah great hammer I am definitely looking forward to putting this to some more work on some bigger stuff because this was light this was light ish spring still still not light I only use this for the rivet because it was I don't know that was a ball beam. I guess I could have used that for the rivet anyways. Alright. Joe here. Talk about a porch. Another set of mini tongs. They're just flat bit. But they're cool. Joe here. Talk about a porch. Peace. And I'm out.